Good morning. My name is Rebel and I am the Rebel Reseller and today I'm going to be doing the second half of my Watts Solds which would be for last weekend April 21st through the 23rd. I said this in the previous video last week was really really slow for me and this week I've had some kind of few low days but for the most part I'm doing it's better it's better I had an amazing sell day yesterday which would have been Saturday so you know the ups and downs right the ups and downs but uh yeah it is what it is y'all it is but we went hit a bunch of yard sales yesterday hardly I, I bought stuff and I am being particular but when you get home and you can't remember anything that you bought you know it was nothing that was just like yeah I can't wait to get this listed so it wasn't one of those days but any day outsourcing being driven around by Robert is a good day so I can't complain at all but it is Sunday this morning so I thought I'd go ahead and get this video done before we head off to church and then I've got to do some uh, more of the the all the plush that I picked up at that estate sale last weekend I'm just in love making those videos and getting all of that stuff processed in love but it's early I'm still drinking my coffee all right so let's get her done let's go ahead and get started with Mercari this is a Build-A-Bear it's saving graces I went ahead and left the Tennessee Titans uniform on it it ended up selling on Mercari with the best offer of nine dollars this is animal toy that's the brand I think I just picked up something recently in a haul you guys may not have even seen it but you know it, that one's a hard one to do comps on because the brand is animal toy so it was just a purple plush which y'all know I like picking up plush that are not common colors for whatever the animal or plush is this one was from 1983 it sold for $14 this is a set of three these are Mattel Thomas the train tank engine all of those words this is the motorized version the track master um, these were bash and dash and a logging car it's one of the harder to find sets that you get complete it sold for $37 and then a couple on Poshmark this is Fisher Price team Umizumi the boy's name is Geo that's a brand I'm always on the lookout for um, even with the, the figures this is from 2012 it sold for $15 on Poshmark Dakin Odie from the Garfield series he's 1983 he sold for $14 on Poshmark if you're not listing your plush on Poshmark and Mercari you should probably give it a try I do very well on Poshmark with especially a lot of the vintage stuff and character toys and lovies and then speaking of lovies this is a Carter's monkey plush it says I love mommy down in the corner it sold for $13 and then eBay I have two of these I picked one up probably maybe in a either the Goodwill bins or at an estate sale it's Russ B Clyburn the cat character from that series um, I actually have two of these the other one I picked up at um, I think it was a Goodwill recently funny thing is is they both had the exact they had their paper tags and everything so I was able just to up the listing quantity to two this first one sold for $15 best offer now if you're new to my channel I don't do free shipping so when I say it sold for $15 they also paid additional for the shipping as far as how I do my shipping I do flat rate for first class packages I divide it up into the weight categories so 0 to 4 ounces 5 to 8 9 to 12 and then 13 through 16 and each one of them has a flat rate so on this one it was going to be a 12 ounce package so I charged five dollars and 75 cents next is I showed this recently in a haul this is a compendium was the brand and his name was goodnight monster just kind of a 
very fluffy, fluffy monster. It sold for $8.96. I have a whole lot of $8.96 sales. Thank goodness, because, you know, this is our primary income, so any sale, you know, adds to our, you know, our profit line, which, you know, helps pay our bills. This is Harmony and Vines women's shirt sold for $10 best offer. I've been selling a lot of clothes because I've, like I said in the previous video, y'all, I went to sleep with wet hair. So I've got this thing right here that's just bugging me. Um, but the more you list in different categories, it seems it starts like the algorithm positively in that category for you. So I've been listing more and I'm selling more clothes. And these are some of the older clothes. So it's not even things that I've just listed. Hasbro for real friends. These are um, like motorized toys. I don't pick them up very often unless they are automatically working when I press the button, you know, so the batteries are still good. Um, and they're very clean because they are a pain to clean because you can't wash them. And I, I prefer just to take my stuff upstairs, throw them in the washer, do a two day spa day with them on the couch drying and then bring them back down here and get them listed. So this one was from 2012, sold for $10.50. This we picked up on the previous trip that we went to St. Louis, um, I think earlier in the year last year. We went to a thrift store that one side of the thrift was like, they're getting rid of all of it, super, super cheap, the bargain side, I guess. Um, and there were several of these, like, planters that were shaped like fish. I haven't listed all of them yet, but I did list a few of them when we first got back. Um, this one ended up selling for $14.95, which it's been listed over a year, yet it sold for its full asking price. So that was a delete, listed it um, with sell similar, and it sold. Kelly Toy, this is a large rattle plush, 14 inches from $17.95. From, from 2017, I have two of these listed. This was the first one to sell, $17.95. Blankets and Beyond. You know, I frequently say I pick up most lovies as long as they're in decent condition. It doesn't matter the brand for me, but a lot of them are bread and butter. But this particular one is by Blankets and Beyond. I think I have two of these in different colors. Um, there's not an animal attached to this one. So if you see these, though, they're like dots on the inside and then the circles on the outside, and it's like a satin edging and back. Definitely check the comps and probably need to pick them up. This particular one sold for $35.95. Finding Nemo Pillow Plush. This one sold for $13.45. It did have a jagged edge on one side, so I did write that it looked like there might be a repair on the side. Take pictures. Um, still sold pretty quickly, so not too bad. This is an Old Navy women's denim jacket, um, size extra large. We've really been trying to focus on buying um, more clothes when we go out, and I am looking for the larger sizes. Um, they just seem to sell more quickly for us. This one sold for best offer of $14. With clothing, since I already talked about the first class stuff, most clothing items, if I know it's going to be able to fit in a padded flat rate envelope, I charge $8.99. But I keep it at priority as far as the category. That way when it sells, um, a lot of times if it's closer to me, it's actually, I can ship it in a regular priority, like the Tyvek bags or in a box for cheaper than the padded rate envelope. It's just how I do it. But anything that I know can't fit in a padded flat rate envelope, then I do do calculated shipping. This is Blankets and Beyond again. This is a dog lovey, but this one is just regular bread and butter for me. It sold for $8.96. 
Fisher Price Little People. Most of the time I put these in small lots, usually about two of them, list them for $9.95, and most of them sell around there. These two sold for $8.96. Dakin Garfield, this is cat plush, had like a feather duster on it from 1981. It sold for $16.69. I think I picked this up at the bins, possibly during one of um, Courtney's bins challenges. Can't remember. Um, I just recently picked up some more of these hot pot holders, hot pads um, with mushrooms on it. They, they just seem to be very popular. This one did have some discoloration on it. It still sold for $8.33. Snuggle Bear Plush. Um, this is the larger size, 15 inches. It sold for $15.86. I did get a message yesterday from the buyer. Um, it's stuck in the postal system. So I went and if you go into the USPS website, um, put in that tracking number, you can go ahead and start requesting um, text or email updates on it. Probably Monday, I'm going to get a phone call from wherever this thing currently is sitting. Usually that's what they end up doing is they send me in either a text or a phone call saying, you know, whatever. But it tends to get it moving again. The fact that I'm asking for updates on it tends to get it moving. I'm hoping um, you do have to wait like seven days, I think it is, um, from the last time you've got an update on it to put in a missing mail claim. Um, which sometimes then gets even more action towards it. But I'm hoping by tomorrow's update that it's going to actually show that it's moving again. So uh, hopefully, fingers crossed, it's going to get moving. But I responded with all of this information to the buyer. So I'm hoping at this point they won't go ahead and open up an item not received. Give it a few more days to see what's going to happen. But yeah, it's, it's a bummer when... You know, your packages kind of stall out somewhere. But that's the first step you need to do is go in and start getting text alerts. Raffia Straw Woven Hot Pads. I think I picked up this whole pile at um, a yard sale. I want to say a couple of dollars, maybe five dollars. Um, but they did have some fading and everything. Listed them kind of high, but I ended up getting an offer for $27. So I just decided to get them, get them gone, right? Build-A-Bear, Snow Leopard. Most of these I list about $9.95. Based on the comps, this one got listed a little bit higher. It sold for $11.08. When you see these odd numbers, I automatically keep sales going in my store. Sometimes 8%, 10%. I think I've got a 15% going right now. Um, and then I send out offers. So it ends up being these odd numbers. Snowflake Indiana University Christmas Ornament. Um, picked up a bunch of these. I actually think I picked these up once upon a time when we went to the Indiana bins to do some a, a sourcing trip. Um, we usually drag... We used to go there quite often, a couple times a year, because they have three three bins in the Indianapolis area, and then there was two on our way. So we would stay three or four days, fill the trailer, and come home. But now we've been doing the St. Louis trips just so we can visit family while we're, we're while we're working. But finally, Christmas more ornament in April, eight dollars and eighty seven cents. Now, this person, I guess I had two of these different conditions, so that's why there's a difference in the price. Needed to do replacements, probably a lot, a toy that their toddler is attached to, um, but they sent me offers for the two Octonaut figures um, and sold them both for $14. Ariat Women's Jeans. The problem with these, and we're trying to do better, is there were no size tags or care tags in them. I've been telling Robert, those are a hard sell because you have to find a buyer who is willing to look at the measurements to make sure they're going to fit. And bigger 
chance that you might get a return for no fit. So we've been trying to do better about making sure the clothing items that we're picking up have care tags and size tags. When I got a $15 offer on this, I just decided to go ahead and get it. Hopefully it won't come back to me for fit. $15. This is Disney 101 Dalmatian. Pretty sure this was a Ben's thing um, from St. Louis. I think this was supposed to have a blanket that goes with it. They're the blanket babies. Um, but it sold very quickly for $8.33. I'm all about my bread and butter. My bread and butter is $8 to $12. This is a Huggable Hope plush, and it has the line for chemotherapy. He's called the Chemo Duck. I did get a message from this particular buyer. They are in England, and they wanted to know if I would direct ship. So I went in and added first class shipping to England, which when you add any type of shipping, you end up turning off the um, eBay International program, if you didn't know that. So if you have things that you would ship maybe to Canada, but you don't want it to go through the um, eBay International shipping, that's how you do it. You just add international shipping and it takes away that. But they ended up coming back and purchasing, purchasing this for $10.49 and I shipped it directly to them. Walmart, this is a big tail dinosaur plush, 9 inch, sold for $8.96. This is Fiesta Mai Tai Pineapple Plush, 14 inches, sold for $11.66. Cal Toy, this is a gopher hand puppet plush, 9 inches, sold for $8.96. Petting Zoo Boxer Plush from 2016, $8.96. Most of these were from the Goodwill bins, so it's pay by the pound. I probably have 50 cents or so in them or less. Page Women's Jeans, um, size 29, sold for $17.32. This is a viewer sale, so thank you so much, Megan. She bought this. Kelly Toy Squishmallows Owl 5 inch for $8.95 and she wanted to support my bread and butter plush. This is Mary Meyer Brown Bear Plush 22 inches with the plaid bow sold for $23. It's important when you're listing especially bears but any probably stuffed animals try to put in any other characteristics like this one had a plaid bow you know if it has a gold bow or purple ribbons any of that because not everybody knows the brand so they're going to be doing searches on anything that was um, unique about the plush that they're looking for so I try if I have enough space to go in and put any keywords that you know is more above and beyond brown bear and the size so just words of wisdom. And then my best sell on eBay, I had two of these. Um, one was on my wall and then another one I picked up recently for a special project I'm still working on. Um, but both of them sold for $53.95. One of them, if you look at this um, one, th there's one that has thin stripes on it and then the other one has large stripes on it but I have sold both of them now for $53.95. But my big sell of the week weekend was on Etsy. Now I have turned off all of my renewals for Etsy right now. I'm just kind of, kind of, I'm still cross-listing there, but some of the older stuff that I just keep renewing every four months, I need to reconsider maybe. So I'm letting them end. At some point I'll go through that and say yes or no. Um, but I may turn everything back on fourth quarter just because that's when nostalgia sells and a lot of vintage toys are nostalgia. So I may just wait and then just upload all of them again, you know, September, October time frame. But look at this. 
Robert picked this up. We bought, we went to an estate sale and then he went back the last day and it was fill a box. And it's the same estate sale where he bought huge boxes, probably two or three boxes full of Francoma for $5 a box. But he threw this in there. Um, it's a just an art glass paperweight. But the artist's name was Mark Russell. It was signed on the bottom, but he's a local artist to the Greenville area based on the research that I did. Um, it was dated from 1986. Just kind of had it in there for quite a while. And it sold on Etsy $149.95 for a four inch paperweight. So I'm thrilled. That was fun. So, you know, I say this all the time, keep listing. You just never know when that buyer is going to find the item um, that's been, been listed for probably a year or so. It just, you never know. I'm, every morning when I look, wake up to find, look at my sales, I'm always amazed that it's something that sold, you know, listed two years ago, five years ago, because y'all, I just kind of let my stuff go. Um, I do do the end and sell similar every month, but very seldom do I take listings down. I've already done the work. I've already paid for it. Um, so I just let them be. But as I'm doing my inventory, you know, I might reevaluate some of them, but you've already done the work. You might as well, right? Leave them. Just leave them. All right, I got to get some breakfast, get ready for church, and then get back here and get some more work done this afternoon. Bye.